What's up? <laughs> Excuse the look, I just woke up. But I'm back for another video. It is another what I eat in a day, but this one's not like got any challenge or anything to it. It's just I'm going to a Halloween party tonight and I thought it would be fun to kind of like vlog it. <laughs> And also to show you that even if you're going to be going to a party and maybe drinking and having like liquid calories and snacking at the party doesn't mean you need to restrict beforehand. And my usual disclaimer, this is just one day of my life and I eat differently every day. We are in different points in life and in our journey and we need different types of food and different amounts. So please don't compare yourself. I do these videos to show you that eating food can be fun and life can be amazing without an eating disorder. So getting right into it, mum knows me so well that I woke up and she brought me strawberries like first thing in the morning. I'm just gonna like eat this punnet <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and start getting ready for the day. A wonderful angle, I know. Cheers. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Ooh. You know what I might do? I'm gonna save the rest of these and I'm gonna cut them up and put them on a yogurt bowl. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go get ready and then I'll see you when I'm making my breakfast, even though it's midday. I slept in quite a lot. <laughs> so I just showered and now I'm gonna go downstairs and make a yogurt bowl because I'm feeling that today. We do have people over, so I'm not gonna be talking while I make it because you know, all good. This is my yogurt bowl. I've never had it with just like normal strawberries before. This is like revolutionary. I am gonna talk real quick and just give you guys a wee like update on where I'm at at the moment with eating disorder recovery. Cheers. Oh, that's good with strawberries, man. But anyway, a wee update. So I'm doing really good in recovery. I am not really scared of any food. I haven't found myself feeling scared to eat any foods at all. I think I've dealt with a little bit of guilt in the last probably month and I think that comes with my really bad body image at the moment. So I have gained quite a lot of weight since I started recovery and I'm the biggest I've ever been and I have been really struggling with my body image. That's why you always see me in this hoodie because I am too scared to wear anything else. So I'm definitely trying to work through that but it's definitely hard. I have grown out of all my clothes, which is also really hard. I've had multiple like breakdowns on my bedroom floor surrounded by piles of clothes that I've all tried on and they just haven't fit. I have had a few kind of setbacks, but I've come back from them pretty quick, but I had a moment where I did download my fitness pal again. I have also weighed myself a couple of times and I felt myself starting to be like slipping back into it, but I realized really quickly that that's not a good idea. <laughs> weighing myself isn't going to do anything helpful it's only going to make things worse and that I don't need my fitness pal because I don't need an eating disorder I need a happy life free from all that so that's a bit of an update I'm going to eat this I was going to time lapse it but my camera's on four percent so I'm going to plug that in and I will see you guys next time I'm hungry it has been a few hours since I had breakfast for some reason I'm not feeling very hungry today like at all. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel peckish, so I'm gonna go stare in the fridge for probably 10 minutes until I find something that I can eat. Oh, this is great lighting. Wow. So, I remembered I bought this. It's chicken, bacon, and mozzarella ravioli. Yum. I'm just sipping on this while I wait for it to cook. It's, um, <laughs> Mango smoothie, as usual. She's cooked. I just got the water out. Oh yeah! Ta-da! So I just have a plain. That's not like an eating disorder thing. I've never ever liked sauces in my life. Like, I've always eaten this stuff like this and I used to have this all the time as a kid, so. Cheers. 
I've met this pastor in so long. I just zoned out. Oh. I'm gonna finish this bowl. And I'll probably see you next when I'm on my way to my friend's house. And then you get to see the whole Halloween transformation. It's gonna be bomb. I did my nails. Um, let's make a bet how long these stick on nails are gonna last and how many are gonna have at the end of the night. I'm guessing four are gonna be left at the end of the night. I am. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> I feel so awkward doing this in front of people. I don't usually do it in front of people. <laughs> so we're just about to get ready. We're gonna film a TikTok transition. Oh. And we're having some chips for dinner. So I might do a wee montage of it. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I finally got the contacts in. It took literally so long and I've been, my eyes have been watering so much. That's why I put them in before I did the makeup. I also just had some chips, like hot chips, like a small plate of it, because my friend's family got fish and chips and now we're just getting ready but this is like the starting process. This is the finished look. <laughs> I look a little bit crazy but we love it. I actually don't mind it. I love the red eyes. They like make it. Hello. I'm gonna do the rest of the vlog on my phone just throughout the night when I remember. I added something to my chest. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it or not, but it's like more cracks. It kind of a little bit looks like chest here, but that's all right. But anyway, I'm, we're getting into it, so I'm gonna do a shot of tequila. And then I've got just lemon juice because I can find a lemon at home. So I'm following it with lemon juice. <gasps> this is your reminder that when you're in eating disorder recovery, you get to take part in life and you don't spend the whole party worried about liquid calories or anything. You just fucking go for it. This is the full fit, by the way. So we've got, <laughs> I just fell over. We've got docks. And then this, my favorite dress I literally wear everywhere. And then of course the makeup. Yeah. Shot two. Hi. <laughs> So update, I've had three shots. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> the antidepressant I'm on makes me like more sensitive to alcohol, which is not a good thing. <laughs> so I'm taking it easy. I will try and film when I have snacks. I've got like a snack table out. So I'll try and film that, but I'm just sitting in a room by myself <laughs> and just kind of taking in the fact that this is so amazing that I can do this and I can go out and party and take part in it and not be worried about what other people think of me or like food or calories. I can just enjoy it and I think that's really fucking special. Sorry, I swear a lot when I'm drunk. <laughs> What's up? Oh, my lipsticks come off. I'm going good. I've had a couple drinks. I'm, I'm YouTubing. I'm a vlogger. Where are my shoes? I'm a little drunk. I'm a lot drunk right now. I'm going to cringe when I look back on this footage tomorrow, but that's okay. I'm kind of feeling peckish though, so I might go get a snack or something. <laughs> She's got a wedding tomorrow. Yeah, hold on. What's up? So I'm heading home. I'm going to have some two minute noodles when I get home because I really want some. <laughs> oh, my makeup's like almost gone. My mum made me two minute noodles. It's currently like 1.30 in the morning. So that's fun. The party was really good. It was a bit shorter than I thought it would be. I didn't really eat much. I don't know what it's been today, but I've just not been hungry. I felt really full all day. I just felt so full before I even ate breakfast. I'm like, no, those are my noodles. Cheers. <laughs> I'm eating them on the ground, which is really classy. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna film the outro tomorrow morning. Love you, love, oh, love you. <laughs>